I was riding my bike through the snow to get to school. It should have been canceled, but apparently our school was the only school that didn't get a snow day. I was really looking forward to staying in my house and playing video games on my brand new PS5. But as we watched the news, anxiously waiting for our school to be on snow day schedule, the name Hamilton High was never said. As I reached for the doors of my high school, my friend Rick came running through the front entrance. Henry, there's something wrong on the second floor. I found Mrs. Merriweather and she was acting weird. She, she tore off her own arm, he said frantically. He rambled on about dead zombie students and teachers eating their own limbs. Before I could respond, he ran away. I thought he had been drinking and was incredibly out of his mind, so I went in anyway. Everything was normal, so I figured he was being a bit Delulu and decided to go to class. I climbed the steps to the second floor where my homeroom was. When I walked in, everyone was missing. That was a bit strange because at least the teacher should have been there. Mr. Nude always came five minutes before the bell rang. I started to notice that the hallways were also empty, but the first floor was buzzing with students. So that was odd. The bell rang and no one had showed up. I decided to check the other classrooms to see if there was any sign of another human apart from myself. Every single classroom was empty. And Mrs. Merriweather, whose classroom was next door to mine, was missing. She was never not here, so I was starting to get pretty freaked out now. There was one particular classroom I hadn't checked yet, one that caught my attention. I began walking towards it, and something in my head screamed at me to run. But I was on full-on autopilot by now, so of course, I ignored it. As I approached the classroom, I looked back only to see that the stairs that were once there had disappeared. And the hallway was now nothing but a black void. The lights were flickering, and I was getting a bit lightheaded. I was starting to think that Rick was right, but I wanted to know what exactly it was that he saw. I was definitely not in Hamilton High anymore. I turned on the lights in the classroom and what I saw sent a cold shiver down my spine. There were blood stains everywhere. Dark, dry blood. I could smell the sweet metallic odor from the doorway. It was nauseating. I tried my best to not throw up and kept exploring. The desks were scattered everywhere. The papers were all over the ground. Some dated back to 1995, which is weird because our school opened in 2007. A dead body lay in the corner of the room near the teacher's desk. It looked like it had been dead for ages. Meanwhile, looking like it had only been dead for a few minutes. I decided to look out of the window to make sure I was still in my school, but when I looked out, I saw nothing but a second black void. A noise startled me out of the trance after seeing the void, and I spun around in a daze. Someone just locked me in the room. That's when I saw it. A black figure peeking at me from the corner, but as quickly as I saw it, it was gone. And the dead body was also missing. I ran towards the door and started pounding and screaming for help. The door finally gave in and I sprinted out of the classroom and ran until my legs burned and my throat was dry as hay. I don't remember the hallway being this long. I turned around and at the end of the hall I saw that black figure standing beside someone. That someone was Mr. Nude. Mr. Nude, thank goodness you're here. We need to leave. Something is very wrong with this place. I opened my mouth to say something else, but I was cut short when I saw the shadow going into Mr. Nude's body. A horrible, ear-piercing scream reverberated throughout the hall. I looked over to the source of the sound, barely able to see because of the migraine forming in the back of my head. The scream had come from Mr. Nude. I covered my ears and fell to the ground. When I opened my eyes, Mr. Nude was gone. But when I looked the other way, he was back. With my classmates from homeroom, some other students, the dead body from earlier, and Mrs. Merriweather. Some had arms missing. Some had legs missing, 
and some had their eyes gouged out and their guts spilling onto the floor. The ones that did have eyes had dark, black bags under them, and some had red irises or pure black eyes. Rot stained their faces, and instead of nails, they had long, black claws. Mr. Nude started to tear off his own arm, and he ate it as if it were a chicken leg. I ran away. I was not going to end up like them. I frantically looked for a sign of the stairs, but I was pulled down by an infected. It took hold of my leg and started to bite it. I kicked as hard as I could to get free. When I finally got free from its grasp, everything returned to normal. I was laying on the floor, leg dripping with blood, and exhausted out of my mind. I ran down the stairs and collapsed. A teacher found me lying on the floor unconsciously and called an ambulance. Later that day, I woke up in the hospital. I convinced myself that none of this was real. Until I saw a bandage around my leg. The nurse had told me that they found a virus in my blood and that I had had a blood transfusion earlier. I, I started to feel weird, so something was obviously wrong. I wanted... I wanted to eat human skin. And I had the urge to tear off my own arm. I needed to go back to the school. I needed to go back to the second floor. My home. I don't know how long I have before I turn into one of them. But if someone knows what's going on, please send help. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this narration. I just wanted to give a quick thank you to all of my patrons who are subscribed over at my Patreon. We have a great big thank you from me to you, Alonzo, Kozak, Icy Narrates, Jesse Hartley, Andrea Sanderson London, and Geek Sanctuary. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting me. If you would like to support too, just check out the links in my description. And thank you again for listening. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.